Okay, so today we're going to be going over and setting up a basic turtle aquarium. We're going to be setting it up. This is our little guy right here. He's a tiny little red-eared slider. He's a hatchling. He is just barely, I don't know if you can see here with, against my hand, he's just an itty bitty thing, maybe, maybe a little bit bigger than a quarter. He was actually a rescue. He was stuck to a glue trap for mice, and a uh, husband of a co-worker brung him in, and uh, we're actually going to be giving him away to someone, and uh, I'm going to help him set up their uh, nice aquarium. So this is what we're going to be working with today. We have our 10 gallon aquarium. For this size turtle, it's going to be plenty enough for him. He's going to have plenty of space. And he'll even have room to grow for a little while. They do grow fast, so it's not a permanent setup. But it will work great for the size that he is right now and for at least a couple months. We have our substrate. We have gravel, just regular aquarium gravel. We're ready to go. We have a filter, which is a 10 gallon filter, which is enough to run a 10 gallon, but considering we're not going to have the full thing filled up, it's going to be more than enough considering turtles are relatively messy pets. So it will be over filtration, which means his water quality will stay nice and clean, ensuring that he stays healthy. We've got a little place for him to hide, nothing crazy. We've got a lid to keep, less to keep him in, but more to keep other animals and pets out. And then we've got some nice decoration plants, artificial, just to spruce it up a bit. And then you can't go wrong without pet food. Now normally when you set up tur pet turtle, uh, red-eared slider, or anything of the sort, you normally you have to have proper lighting. You have to have a proper heat bulb, and you have to have a, uh, you have to have a proper UVB bulb, which gives them the proper... Uh, vitamins and minerals and stuff they need that they normally get in direct sunlight but the person I'm getting uh, giving this to I've already talked to and they're going to keep him by a window and for at least while during the warm summer months he'll be more than okay sitting by the window getting all natural sunlight here we are brand new opened it took it out of the, uh, the cardboard packaging brand new 10 gallon aquarium I think we're going to start by uh, adding some gravel. So now that we've added the gravel, what we're going to do is we're going to level out one side really nice and thin, and then we're going to push the rest up, kind of at a slope. So you can see it's really, really shallow on this side, and as you go over, it goes right up to the top. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to put in his little half log to give him something to hide in if he ever feels like he needs to. And it's something for him to climb over. Turtles like to climb. And we're also going to put his rock in here because this is a great spot for him to get up and bask on. So what I did is first of all I decided I was going to rotate this around and put it facing the forward. That way I can have a little bit of a steeper slope going down. And I put this big rock right here with a nice drop off because that's where the water is going to be up to, right there. So he'll be able to sit right there on the edge of the water and the way turtles do is they'll just drop right down into the water and he'll swim around and he'll have a blast. So now what we got to do before we add the plants, we want to make sure we put the filter in first and then we can use the plants to kind of decorate, make everything look nice, hide the filter a bit, make it look a little more fancy and cool. So here we have it, we have the filter, we put it in the corner back here, I think it'll be fine right there. Um, I couldn't get the uh, suction, suction cups on, so it's just, it came with this nice little uh, bracket you hang on the stand here, it'll work great. We will put our plants in.
So we got the plants in. It came with two real big plants that are all one piece. This one piece fell off of this, so I kind of stuck it in with this piece over here. It had a little bit more color. And then it had some little bitty tiny green ones I'm thinking are going to stay here. They should. I think that kind of adds a little bit of unique color to it. We got a little plant up here, up on dry land. It looks real pretty and nice right here. And we had a little bit of trimming. We just kind of fell off. We just kind of shoved it in the corner back here. I think it's going to look really cool. All right, we slapped the lid on here to make it look a little bit more finished and pronounced. But the last thing to make it really perfect for the turtle, we got to add water. As you can hear, I got the pump going. Got some water going. I already put my... Uh, dechlorinator in there. Make sure every time you, whatever you have fish or aquatic reptiles or anything that has to do with water and you plan on using it from the tap, uh, make sure you get a water conditioner. It's used to get rid of the uh, chlorine and the other things that are harmful to your pets. So I do believe the water is well cycled now with the uh, dechlorinator done flowing through. The pump's been running for a couple minutes. I think it'd be safe to go ahead and introduce him to his new home. All right, we're going to add him in here. So we're going to set him right here. And just let him see what he does. Right, there he goes. He's exploring. Alright, there we have it. We have this pump going, we got plenty of decoration plants, we got water, it's plenty deep enough for his size. Look at him, he, I told you he would like to climb that. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh, let's see if he does the thing on his own. So you'll see how these turtles will do. They'll actually take their neck and use it as a lever and they'll turn and flip themselves over. He's a little tired right now, I might have to help him. But yeah. you can see the idea. Yeah, see He'll it. take his neck, out of there. Uh -huh. and he should just be able to do it on his, there he goes, see, yeah. all by himself. Yeah. All right, I think that's where we're gonna leave it off for today. So if you liked this video, leave a like below or something, comment what you wanna see. Uh, if you have any questions on raising baby turtles, uh, this one's a red eared slider if you have any questions in particular. Uh, I can give you my best input and if you have any advice, feel free to drop it down in the comment section.